Hey there, amazing truth seekers. Wow, I hope you're having a good day, guys. Welcome to another episode of Untold. I can't believe what I've got to show you today. You know, I've been following the Royal scene for years and I've got something crazy to show you guys. So now, let me tell you what's happening with our friend Harry, who seemed to completely lost touch in reality since leaving the Royal family, is now apparently targeting children. Yes, you heard that right with the Invictus Games messaging. I mean, seriously. What do these kids think they're doing? Let's be real here for a moment. The Invictus Games was supposed to be about supporting our brave wounded veterans. It started as a noble cause. Of course it did. Now they're literally creating classroom materials about the Invictus Games, guys. They're having kids watch trailers for that Netflix show. You know, the one that barely anyone watched. They're making children fill out worksheets. It's unbelievable. You have to ask yourself, why? Why are they so desperate to get into the Canadian schools? Is it because they can't fill the seats at these events? Remember those embarrassing photos from previous games with all those empty seats? And let's talk about these educational materials. They're not encouraging critical thinking or balanced discussion. They're asking kids to focus only on positive aspects, of course. Now, what really gets me here, guys, is how far we've come from the days when Harry was actually doing good. Remember before he became this bizarre caricature of himself. And meanwhile, well, look at William and Catherine. They're out there doing the real work, making actual differences in people's lives without the need to target school children or create propaganda materials. And you know what is particularly sad about all of this? The actual veterans, the people this was supposed to be all about are increasingly being pushed to the background. It's becoming less about their stories and resilience and more about a cult like following around the games. I remember when Harry first announced it was such a promising initiative, genuinely aimed at helping wounded veterans, and now it morphed into some kind of bizarre PR game, really. And now they're targeting our kids, our schools, using educational resources. I'm sorry, but that's crossed the line. Our children's classroom shouldn't be about marketing. It should be about pet projects. It should be about education. And you know what really breaks my heart? Seeing how far Harry has fallen from his military roots. This is a man who once served with distinction, who understood what service really meant. Now he's overseeing what amounts to a propaganda campaign. But here's what gives me hope. People are starting to see through it. The kids in the video clip, they couldn't care less. They're not buying what Harry's selling anymore. The Netflix show flopped. The empty seats speak volumes. Maybe this desperate attempt to recruit children is the wake-up call that they need. I'll tell you this much. If they tried pulling this stunt with British school children, there would be absolute outrage across the realm. Now, let me know what you think in the comments below. Am I being too harsh here, or do you agree that targeting school children with the amounts of promotional materials crosses a line? Don't forget to subscribe as well. Remember, folks, we're watching this all play out in real time. Keep your eyes open. Keep thinking critically of course. Don't let anyone, no matter who they are, try to manipulate our kids. Until next time, I'm signing off.